Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. iOS 18 RC update is finally here. The wait is over. Almost the public update is over here. iOS 18 RC is definitely not the public update, but it is pretty much a public version. If Apple didn't find any sort of issue, this update will become a public update. Well, in today's video, I'm going to cover all new features that are available with the iOS 18 RC version. Also, I did a couple of videos in which I talk about how you can install this update. So you can go to my channel and check out those videos. So let's begin the iOS 18 amazing new features starting with very first one. Definitely all new wallpapers that came with the iOS 18. So going over here into the customize over here into the uh, wallpaper section. There are a couple of new wallpapers available. As you can see, this is the yellow version. This is the pink version, this is the azure version, and this is the purple version. And now the very first one is the dynamic version that kept on changing different colors which looks really great. There is a um, green color that is not available over here in any of them but that looks really dope. I hope Apple bring that to in a separate version. Well these are the new iOS 18 wallpapers. What do you think about these wallpapers? Let me know in the comment section below. Also finally now you can customize the controls on the lo your lock screen. You can change the flashlight, you can change the camera from here and you can add anything you want. Over here Apple gave a couple of options that I mean bunch of options are available as you can see these all options are available regarding wheel accessibility, motor accessibility, hearing accessibility and some other accessibility functions. Also you can set up this to any app so there is an option to open app so select this one, choose an application for example I go and choose the app store maybe and the app store icon is over here. Now doing done on this, I will see the app store icon. I can open the app store directly from the lock screen. Also, if I go back to the customize over here and select this one, now there is gradient color for the clock is also available. That looks something like this. This is also really, really amazing. So yes, these things, these new features are really dope and they are available with the iOS 18 RC update. Now also finally, you can lock and hide any application. You don't need to use shortcut for this one. So for example, if I go and lock any application, maybe I'm going to lock the YouTube over here, tap and hold in YouTube. There is a new option, a required face ID as you can see tap on this there are two more options available required face id hide and required face id if i choose required face id it will scan my face and now the youtube application is locked i have to do this to open this app if i choose to hide this application for example just let me do this tap and hold required face id hide and required face id hide app now the app is hidden to get access to this application what you have to do is go to the app library there all the way down in that there is a hidden folder as you can see tap over here it will ask for the face id tap hold face id and now i can get access to the youtube so this is a much much needed feature of lock and hide apps that is available with the ios 18 rc update now you can make your icons convert in your icons into widget for example this is an icon of any application of a, a gym related application tap and hold all this icon and there are a couple of widgets option available tap on this this icon will become a widget you can tap and hold again and you can change the size of the widget if you want to change the size you can go to jiggle mode and just customize the size just like this one this update is also available with uh, the iOS 18, which looks really, really great. Now, in terms of customization, iOS 18 is one of the biggest update from decades easily. As you can see, I can place widgets or icons anywhere on the screen, which is really, really good. Um, although I am not a big fan of this, I really like the OG of iPhone, OG iOS, but still some people like to customize their screen. So this option is available. Also, now there are different modes available regarding the icons like light mode and dark mode is available. 
So what I need to do is I need to go to the jiggle mode. There is a new edit button over here. Press on it. There are three different options available. Add widget, customize edit pages. Now customize is and edit pages are the new options over here as you can see. So tapping on the customize, there is a new menu on the bottom available and you can customize the icons from here. First of all, you can change the size of icons as you can see. Now these icons are bigger as you can see. You can also convert them, convert them. <clears throat> you can also convert these icons into dark mode over here as you can see. Now these icons are into dark mode. You can also dim the wallpaper if you want to. You can also set it to the automatic depending on your iOS uh, dark mode or light mode over here. Also, you can go for the tinted one where you can choose any color of the icons from the list as you can see. For example, if I choose this one, now all colors are, all icons are in one tinted color which looks dope. Some people do like this, although I'm not a big fan of this. I really like the simplicity, so I will go with this one over here. But yeah, these are the new customizable customization features that are available with the iOS 18. In terms of customization, iOS 18 is easily one of the biggest update. Now moving to the next big change is the settings application. Now settings application is changed a lot. I did, I compared settings application with the iOS 17. That video is also available on my channel. So you can go and check out that channel. Now tapping on the search button, you will get suggestions, which is really good, which is quite handy. Also, if I go all the way down, no cluttery apps available at all. No, they are completely organized in this section. And these are all the applications available. You can move to any of your choice very easily. This was a much, much needed update from last more than a decade. But finally, it is here with the iOS 18. So iOS 18 settings app is revamped and it is much better now. iCloud is also available over here which looks also really good. And if I go to the journal, now there are icons available over here. As you can see, these icons are more um, uh, useful than there was text before. Also on every, on the top of the every setting, there is this section available that um, gives the information regarding that particular setting. Although I don't really like this one, but it is a small change and it is still available. I do believe that it is, you know, uh, wasting the space, but it is available with this new update and it is there too, which is quite decent. Now there is a new application available known as passwords. And over here, this is the app icon of the passwords. As you can see, tapping on this, it would ask for the face ID. There are all pass keys, codes, Wi-Fi, security, deleted one. Now you can keep your all passwords of different applications, different websites in one place. This is going to be a really useful application. It also tells that what password has already compromised in the security option. So don't use that password. This is also a really good update. I think it is going to kill different applications like Bitwarden or maybe LastPass. Now it's time to go to settings. So in the settings, going over here, a couple of changes are available in the iMessage. Tapping on this plus button, now there is a send later option available with the iOS 18, a much needed option. Definitely you can send a message, you can schedule a message according to your choice. You can set any date, any time, and you can uh, utilize this feature. Also, there are new text effects available tapping over here. As you can see, there are different text effects available. Big shake, explode, a bloom, and these are quite useful. For example, I use the, um, the shake one over here and it, I say it is dancing. So yeah, these text effects are also really good. Along with that, now there are more um, text reactions available. So tap and hold. Now finally, I can give much more reactions to a message. This was also much needed. Tapping on this button, I can add so many emojis. I mean, this is one of the biggest update when it comes to iMessage. Also, RCS is available. Finally, I will make a video regarding RCS maybe in upcoming videos, but that is also available. Finally, Apple brings a new Photos application. The Photos app is completely redesigned. 
um, it's a completely change definitely I cannot show you the photos application that is quite personal but I want to give you a glimpse of that this is how the photos app look like it's a complete one page if i go down to show you uh, more things this is how it looked like there are trips then there are featured photos media types utilities and more stuff now you can customize the reorders of these things you can also get access to the settings regarding the photos over here in the photos application so it's a big redesign some people are still not liking it, but I really like the new design and it looks really, really dope, which is really great. Also, if I go to any game, for example, for example, I open this game, there will be a new pop-up game mode. Yes, game mode is also available with the iOS 18. When game mode is on, background activity is reduced to optimize the performance of game, which is also really good. You can also turn off the game mode if you want to by just tapping on this, which is also a good one. I do believe in a couple of years, there will be a more game mode settings available. For now, it is quite, quite simple. Now with the iOS 18 RC update, eye tracking is also available. Going into settings, going to the accessibility, there is eye tracking option available through which you can uh, use your phone through your eyes, which is a really great feature. I'm really hoping that I will bring a full fledged video regarding eye tracking in future. So wait for that video. Also in Safari, there is a new distracting uh, feature available. So for example, if I go to any news, uh, maybe any website and there are ads no i can kill those ads i can kill anything over here so tapping over here sorry for this tapping on this section there is a new option hide distracting items as you can see select this one and i can kill anything for example if i want to hide this one boom it's gone so it is a new feature that is also available in the ios 18 rc update there is all new calculator application first of all icon is quite different now there is history available apple did this after so many years now finally there is history also there is a new cool way to change the calculator scientific one and the math notes in the math notes you can do any sort of calculation using your pen for example i'm just giving you example 4 multiplied by 8 is equal to and it will do the calculation it looks really dope and this application stores these math notes in the notes application which is also good now going to the journal application over here on the top of the journal application now insights are available now insights are available to motivate you that you journal more as you can see these such insights really motivate us this is why they are available I journal for 38 days, longest streak is 4 days, longest weekly streak is 6 weeks. So yeah, this is also available with the iOS 18. There are few changes available in the calendar application. First of all, Apple integrated the reminders app in this. So tapping on the plus button, now there is a reminder app option available. You can create reminders directly from your calendar application. Also calendar views are available, st compact stack details and list one also you can change the size using your hand which is also handy as you can see there are more changes available in the notes application so if i go to create a new note over here going into the text format option now there are colors available so i can give different colors to maybe a different color to title a heading different color subheading different color and a body of different color and this is really really useful it completely changed the game of taking notes in the apple notes default application there is a new attachment button over here which brings record audio option now you can record any sort of audio this is going to be very useful for the people who want to maybe record lectures or something and they can also transcribe them as you can see any sort of audio this is going to be very useful for the people who want to maybe record you know a transcript that that is also going to be very very useful moving to the next thing going into the fitness application the design of fitness application is also revamped with the ios 18 rc update now this section is quite big if i go all the way down and go to the edit summary over here there's a new add button on the top pressing on this now i can i get a lot of different options to add these are small widgets which i can add 
to the fitness fitness application so yes bit of a customization is also available in the fitness application again if i go to the calculator the icon is slightly different also going to the stock the icons is also changed now it is slightly different also if i go to the um, weather application this icon is also slightly different from the ios 17 version also apple brings the apple intelligence features that are available with the iphone 15 pro version for now i don't have any iphone 15 pro model so i cannot show you but there is a siri 2.0 and and a chat gpd integrated into the whole system that is also insane definitely i will try to bring videos regarding that talking about another big change now finally apple redesigned the control center completely after the ios 11. now in the ios 18 rc update this is the new control center which is really handy the design is much better the ui looks insanely good and we can customize it further by tapping on this plus button so if i tap on this plus button i can change the size of these controls as you can see i can do this with every other control as you can see not only that now tapping on this add a control button there are wide range of options available that i can add into the control center also i can add multiple pages of the control center for example if i add this one as you can see this is added to a new page which is also really good there is also power button on the top section available tap and hold this button to turn off your device so amazingly control center is easily one of my favorite update in the ios 18 rc uh, what are your favorite updates let me know in the comment section below so these are all the features came with the ios 18 rc update definitely these are really great if you ask me that should you install the ios 18 rc update definitely you can install it i did make a video on that that video is available on the channel rc update is considered as pretty much the stable update also without a doubt ios 18 betas are one of the most stable one if i show you the geekman score of ios 18 developer beta 8 over here these geekman score are the highest one 23 29 on a single core while 56 48 on a multi core and a single core is way better than the average iphone 14 score and the multi core is also way better than the average iphone 14 score so in terms of performance in terms of battery life ios 18 betas were already really great and i'm hoping that ios 18 rc will be great definitely i will bring videos regarding battery life and more stuff so make sure to subscribe the channel and i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out